goes towards his top lane, but that's kind of cool. Oscar and bringing in a little bit of the spice. And Oscar, a player who's been doing super well thus far this season. And when you look at kind of the early pathing as we get closer into this game. Because now, since ours should be a bit faster, I guess Sebi got maybe base faster off. But... Jun. Knockup is there. Punt it back into the wall. Decent damage coming in from Supa. No, only level oh. three, but so much damage on the ouster. Might make things a little bit easier. Razork on the way down. First blood coming through from Fnatic. Second kill likely to fall. Now we're going to try to make it out of this one. One for one, two for one now in favor of Fnatic. Nicely though. Well, grubs have been started. Jun clearing vision. Razork here as well. For now, I should be able to grab at least one, but MDK committing a lot of resources. You guys got six grubs really pr fast in the previous game. Is it finally time? Do people care about grubs? I know there was a brief period of time where they're considered completely troll. Was it just all it needed was for them to knock it down to four for it to feel worthwhile? I think grubs are pretty strong right now. Like you can see in our game, uh, we did the grubs, and then I was like hitting, I think, top tower with uh, hands, and we just actually wanted the it tower. If you can do this. Zenith Blade, Razor trying to keep things going. Wall off from Hemorrhage to try to deny for us. Gally enters, and Elio, yeah, forced to flash out with the W. The back half of the exchange costs him dearly, and now Fnatic to grab a second grab, grab a kill as well. And there's so many games that I've watched from Fnatic where they've just blown open the map on this top side, where they've gone him. Can start to do a bit more work. It's Noah. Push for 1v1 against Mirwin, ulti propped. Mirwin running. Derry doesn't need to see in the bush to start autoing, but a nice sidestep from Mirwin. Trying to dodge. Dipping, ducking, diving, flashing in, knocking oh. up auto! Hits him! So it was this one. So it's probably fine. He could have maybe taken the red buff, but it's also risky. Okay, so what would you look for? You kind of alluded to the red buff. We'll say goodbye to you. Thanks so much for coming on. Yes. See ya. Everybody give it up for Yike. One more time for Yike for joining us at the Cazardest. Some excellent insight. It was a pleasure having you, my good man. Your manager will be outside waiting for you. <laughs> you and didn't say anything. You're probably ready You're to yell at me. To try to figure that one out, but now the engage at bottom side. Supa already on the wrong side, but Jun getting lower and lower. Ulti coming out, lightning crash from Noah. Jun, one more auto, gonna proc the plot. Make sure that they could have this, but the counter punch from MDK, not super impactful yet. As for Skawi in trouble, Flick still hitting. Humanoid happy to have the 1v1, but soon Oscar's gonna look to make it a 2v1 or 3v1 as Jun shows his face too. For Skawi, don't know where you go. Out of options, nice sidestep, he's clean with it. Oscar and Brennan proxying the wave. <laughs> He's just healing all the damage Frescawi's putting down. Jun, going to tank this up. Feels like Save they're done the with this. Save the manatees, folks. Frescawi gone. Yeah, there it is. First turret in the meantime. Taken in the bottom lane, but does not matter too much. Oscar Rennan having to support his team because of topside tower as well. And Fnatic 2k. Aswark will not miss the charge, crucially, but the mites there. Getting five already, we heard Yike talk about it, right? It's such a backbreaker, or can be. One more charge here from Humanoid. MDK not in a great position to follow up, and Mirwan continues his job of breaking down towers. He does have a hammer, it seems like what it would be good for, but Elio already caught out the true damage! Crushing Zinza out there as well. It's a remix. <laughs> Fnatic though, ready with the group. Humanoid off to the side to lay down the wall. Zoning MDK in or out, it's their choice. They have chosen out oh, as Alvaro <laughs> hex flashes over the wall. 3K, it's getting lower. MDK, not the confidence to pull the trigger there. Again, Wicca Wicca. Involved in the fight. Even the positioning on where they take fights has been significantly upgraded, but Oscar in. That was a terror here. Yeah. Grub buff walks up, single auto. Alti now, unstoppable. And they burst through his health bar. Good damage now coming for Super. They want to shred through. One more auto will do it. Shut down onto Oscar. Yeah, he can 2v1 a Poppy Sidwani, but not when Akaisa is around. Fnatic, though, starting the objective 5k, getting lower. El Yoya coming in 4k, 3k, getting lower. Excellent stun from Jun to keep them out of the pit. Can they make it in? It's getting closer. Flash in the steal. Not going to happen. Razork secures the Baron for Fnatic, but now MDK want to strike back. Want a bit more money as Razor commits onto Supa. Good damage coming in. Locked to the Iron Solari from El Yoya. Keeping his carry. Standing MDK. Looking to make a quick punish, but it's Fnatic with the Baron. Well, Fnatic might lose even more. They're less than a thousand gold on the Red Bull Baron power play, and they're about to lose mid tower as well. Fnatic, that questionable as to whether how worth that it was. If it was Humanoid or Oscar, anybody still at the buff. 
could have been vital, but the fact that you're to come alive from MDK. Frescari can continue to pressure top, knowing he can always TP in. And MDK are doing a great job of threatening this area, which is the connection point for Fnatic. Lock up on the Mirwin. Full committal now in the fight. Noah falling up with an immediate bit of damage as Mirwin gets taken out. Humanoid just continues to chase on to Alvaro. Headbutt coming through. Pulverize likely to follow, but the flick back still hitting. Alvaro, that's the Naka. Razor gonna follow. Ulti there from Alvaro, but the health bar's too low, and Olaf has more than enough true damage to finish the job. Fnatic. Still going to make the most of this Baron buff. 49 seconds left, but it looks like they're trying to break down two towers with it. Bad lines are trying to keep Fnatic interested on that corner, just seeing if they could deny them the time onto Frescoe. But now they're still going as Razor Horse. Keep my eyes on that engage. It's going to be big for him as Frescoe. Spotted off to the side. Noah could 1v1 him. Noah looking for that angle. Valkyrie out from Frescoe. Wall again. Set play from Fnatic. We've seen this multiple times. Alvaro hex flashing over the wall. We've seen this too, but now MDK are ready to fight this one. Instantly, Olaf is going to try to go in. The dragon will be picked up by Elioia, but can MDK find the fight? Steadfast Presence doing absolutely nothing, and Fnatic starting to run MDK down. 80 carries still standing, but they just don't do enough. The front line of Fnatic is too damn strong, and Elioia just has to run for his life. Fnatic, again, their team fighting. He's going to be able to snag that one for himself. So even though it's Fnatic again, aggressive on the map, it's MDK who are actually coming out with the lead. Or at least on towards the objective first, with mid push coming through. But Fnatic, are no pushovers, and Oscar Ernan immediately trying to start the fight. Razor ready to turn back. Super really hasn't had the chance to auto attack yet. Will now finally start to do a little bit of damage with the ulti from Alvaro. Not doing much of anything, and Oscar just going to flash into the melee range of Super. Razor immediately going to follow. They're just looking to eat some carries. Miro and Tanky, but not anymore. As again, he's just going to get shredded down by four members of Fnatic. MDK walked in, but they did not want that fight. Fnatic just continue to slowly but surely tear through Mad Lion's Koi. The target selection for Fnatic, they see Super for just a moment and immediately dive onto the Kai'Sa. Terror is under, and yes, Frescoe got Humanoid, but he's out of the fight after that. You just have more carries on the side of Fnatic that can keep the ball rolling, and that's now another Baron going across. And again, this is the struggle of the Kai'Sa, right? If you're behind and you can't... DPS check a lot of these fights. Yeah, and a player who isn't afraid to look for the aggressive angles over the walls. A bit of parkour as Razork again is just going to start the fight. Humanoid there to follow up. Alvaro is supposed to be tanky, he's supposed to be immune to damage, but the true damage again, the reckless swing. Coming in from Olaf, coming in from Oscar, he's just slowly shredding through Elioia, and Supa just doesn't do enough damage. They're burning everything, and Oscar refuses to die. Just Ragnarok in his way through the team. Miro and the follow-up is there. The dash does absolutely nothing, and it feels like this is a victory march for Fnatic. It's more than one victory march for Fnatic. The undefeated streak looks like it's about to continue for Fnatic as they rock up against G2 tomorrow. This base is not going to last very long. They just do too much damage. They're so far ahead. 4K gold lead each for Oscar and, and, and Razork. Monster performance from the top side. Jun again wants to keep it going. Fnatic is going to obliterate them and then take the towers next. Supa doesn't even really get the chance to auto. Gets a Q, gets an ulti, and that's all. Fnatic remain undefeated in the LEC. It's been a long L while since we've been able to say that sentence, but Fnatic deserves.